Here's the thing. Meditation is very misunderstood. People think that you're supposed to breathe and then it's supposed to you sit up straight and uh, it makes your mind peaceful. And then they try to breathe and sit up straight and it doesn't feel peaceful and their mind is not peaceful at all. And they're like, well, this is bullshit. Uh, either I can't do it or it doesn't work or I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Meditation is, is heaven. That's what it is. So heaven is the final stage of evolution for human beings, where we're, we're past fear, we're past disease, we're past um, like lust, greed, all of these all of these evils of the material world. As individuals, we can get to a state of evolution where we are beyond all of that. Um, there is no limit to the the potential of the light of God. We just, nobody tells us about it. We don't know. We're just getting told about everything, how the world is falling apart. We don't understand that we have a choice. So, when it comes to meditation, we're not actually trying to like, okay, I'm going to sit down, now I'm going to meditate now I'm meditating. It's not meditation is the state of pure peace. So when you inhale and you pause at the top and it's pure silence and no thoughts come, now you're meditating for a second. You exhale, focus on the base of the spine, focus on your roots, surrender, be grateful. So I took a couple breaths, right? And my frequency was uplifted. <laughs> so this is the thing. We eat healthy. That purifies the body. We do yoga physically. And that um, aligns, balances the body, heals the body from all of our trauma. In healing the body from all of our trauma... We free the mind up to not be dealing with all of the bullshit that is stored in the body until we heal all of the trauma that we experience. Um, we are holding on to it in some way. So when we free all that up and the body is perfectly balanced, perfectly aligned, our diet is on point, and then our mental diet is on point. So we're, we're reading things, we're listening to things, we're watching things that turn our mind towards God. We're spending time in nature. All of these things are good for us. We're, we're chanting mantras. Um, all, anything that turns our mind towards God is going to help every day to be filled with more time spent in meditation and prayer. And ultimately, we're trying to get 30 or like 60 seconds out of the minute, 30 minutes or... Eventually, we're trying to get all day, every day in a pure state of bliss. But it's not easy. If it was easy, then everyone would be would, like we wouldn't be in this position right now. Um, but it's it's pretty simple. It's just that discipline is not easy for anyone. Yo, imagine if I did a video where I just like didn't move my hand when I tried to think about shit. Um, <laughs> um, it, it, it's really just it's as simple as. I'm going to be disciplined. Um, I'm going to schedule my life in a way and be disciplined with like holding myself to that schedule, to my word, um, doing whatever I have to do with my self-talk, with focusing on my goals, which with, um, you know, reminding myself of why I need to do this, where I need to go, how I need to act, how I need to... <sighs> we need to, we need to get ourselves in a state of mind. Um, we're basically, we put in our 10,000 hours with yoga, meditation, prayer, and chanting, and then karma yoga, which is basically doing our duty, 
doing what is right, like picking up trash, that kind of shit. That's like you, you can feel it. You know that that's good karma. Even if you don't like what is karma really? I don't really. With karma yoga is how you act in daily life. And we don't, um, we do the right thing, but it's because that's our responsibility. It's not because um, we get like, karma brownie points we don't do shit so that we get something in return if you do that then you have attachments and expectations that come along with every action that you make you do things because it's the right thing to do and that's your responsibility if you're going to be the best version of yourself then you have to be the best version of yourself always otherwise you will be close to being the best version of yourself or you will be farther away from being the best version of yourself but if you want to be the best version of yourself if you want to be a champion in your own journey of life mastery if you want to be a champion then we do everything right and it's possible it's just not easy i mean it's not easy because we're humans like by nature we are imperfect um but our true nature is perfection itself it is pure god consciousness so it's, it's all about raising the vibration. As individuals and as, as a team, a unit of people leading a revolution in their own lives every day. 